Hello and welcome. This time I will show you my solution for remotely turning on and off my printer. 3D printer, that is. Be warned though that this solution involves butchering some cables, so it's not for the faint-hearted. No, I'm just kidding. You can go wrong here, really. It's easy. Just stay with me. Okay, first of all, let's just assume that you are using Octoprint for controlling your 3D printer, or at least for monitoring from remote. So first of all, when you turn your printer on and off, for now, just manually, the following happens. Octoprint realizes that the printer is no longer connected, so it will show it offline. Unfortunately, even if we turn on the printer again, nothing will happen. Octoprint won't realize that the printer is reconnected unless we manually press the connect button, which is not good. To counter this, we will install a plugin called Port Lister. This plugin scans the USB ports of the Raspberry Pi and it will automatically detect whenever the printer is reconnected. Installation is pretty easy, just search for the plugin within Octoprint, then click install and restart Octoprint as usual. After installing the plugin, there's one more thing you need to do. You have to change the port from whatever USB port it was to automatic. You might need to disconnect and reconnect your printer like I did. After this, you are ready to test. Turn off your printer, but make sure that the Raspberry Pi is still powered. You will see that Octoprint marks the printer as offline. Now turn it back again. It might take like 20 seconds for Octoprint to realize that the printer is back online, but it will eventually happen. Now we are done with the software part. Whenever you turn your printer on, you can be pretty sure that it will be picked up by Octoprint. One more important thing is that you shouldn't power your Raspberry Pi from the power supply of the 3D printer. It's simply because whenever you shut down your printer, the power supply will cut power immediately, meaning that the Pi won't have time for a proper shutdown, and this can corrupt your SD card along with the Octoprint installation itself. So ultimately I decided to give the Pi its own power supply and leave it on 24-7, so I can use it for other purposes too when the printer is offline. At this point, if you are an Ender 3 user, you will probably face another problem. So you turn off your printer and you can see that although fainter, the display is still on and also you can hear some high-pitched volume like a coil wine or something like that and that's because the main board of the industry is still drawing power from the Raspberry Pi which is let's say less than ideal the printer should be off right and this is the part where we will butcher those cables so let's see what can we do luckily for me I use a mini USB cable with my industry that is partially transparent, so I can see the individual wires of the cable inside. Now the USB wiring specification tells me that the red wire is what I'm looking for. That is responsible for providing the 5 volts to the printer. So by cutting that, the problem should be solved. Of course, you gotta be careful not to cut wires other than the red one. Eventually, you will end up with something like this. You can fill the gap with hot glue, electrical tape or anything you like. Now let's see the prepared cable in action. Boom! Power gone! But wait, what if you don't like the idea of chopping cables? Well, a fellow YouTuber called Brian Locke uh, has the perfect solution for you. Check out his store on tindy.com. He made a device that can uh, block power on the USB line. It's really simple to use and it's cheap, so this can be a solution as well. As usual, link in the description. So at this point we can turn our printer on and off and we won't have any issues with power and it is pretty much separate from the Raspberry Pi. So what next? We need to somehow turn the printer on from remote. Well, there are a lot of solutions out there for this, but uh, personally I want to have my Raspberry Pi standalone and separated from the printer 
as much as I can, so I will not rely on using relays or stuff like that, control from the Raspberry Pi. Instead, I will go with the good old son of. Obviously for me it means again I need to cut some cables, but this is just a power cable. Since I've been a PC builder in my whole life, I have tons of it. If you check out your box of random cables, I'm pretty sure you have one too. But again, if you don't want to cut cables, there's a solution. You can use a smart wall plug or something like that. Which of course means that you don't have to do anything further to be able to remotely turn your printer on and off. So I have wired up son off, flashed it with the task motor firmware. And since these are basically can be connected with everything, I connected it to my Amazon Echoes and my home assistant. Alexa, turn on the 3D printer. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to help my channel and see more of my content, hit subscribe. If you want to check out behind the scenes and want to know more about me, then follow me on social media. You can find the links here. Thank you again and see you next time.